uh, when Australia, this prosom millet, they are using this as trap crop because of their short duration. So, in Singha millet, our Karnataka is top producing state. Singha millet, almost 60% of area and 50% of production is contributed from our state and followed by uh, foxtail millet. Uh, Polo and little millet, Madhya Pradesh, you know, is having a, a larger area and also in Maharashtra. These are the important top producing states of millets. And uh, if the crops are exposed to the different kind of agaris of climate during that crop stages, definitely there will impact on the phenology, growth, what use and, and their productivity. So this is very important. We, are, we should have optimum you know, climatic parameters during the crop growth period. Then uh, there are at farmers level also, there are locally adapted genotypes are also available, that, but their productivity is low when compared to improved varieties. This is very important. That is why management factors are very important to have you know, a potential yield of any crop. So, uh, in world, we uh, can note uh, where these millets are grown in around uh, 29 million hectares. So, India is already told India is a top producer as well as consumer. In India, uh, among different states, Rajasthan contributes more for millet basket because pearl millet it is having a larger area of pearl millet then Rajasthan followed by Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat and even Karnataka, small millets, for example, the ragi, foxtail millet, little millet, you can find these crops in Karnataka. So these are the top millet producing states in our uh, all of, uh, India as well as in our state. So uh, when we uh, uh, see this circular uh, meaning, Area production and yield. Uh, so before green level, means during green revolution, there was actually a rise in area production as well as productivity. The area as well as production is compared with the productivity, there is actually a very good, you know, very good there you are know, not down by more than 50 percent of area of the millets are you know, down, then millet product, whereas productivity you know, is 159% you know, growth has been noticed in the productivity. So if we compare the proportion area of uh, different millets in uh, India, the uh, uh, crop, permanent millet occupies around 48.8% followed by sorghum, that is the proportion of uh, uh, you know, area of different crops in our country. So these are the, our states where grow uh, these uh, millets. This is a map, millet map of India, which depicts the what type of what uh, crops are being grown in different uh, states. So after uh, the Green Revolution, we have noticed the serious decline in millets. Why? Because in during the Revolution, the high yielding varieties of rice and wheat. So they have come up. They have you know gone to even non-traditional area, even the, uh, so such because of the novel yeah, genes introduced from Philippines and Mexico, there is no, no, no such productivity enhancing genes are found in millets, that is why we should not, you know, enhance the area of the millets. Then, uh, even the government also supported the availability of fertilizers with subsidy and also irrigation because of construction of dams after the big evolution that is why rice and wheat and even maize occupy larger area when compared to millets. So uh, even the, at the household level also, the convenience of cooking also plays also matter. So even making rotis from finger millet, it is not easy to So that is why, and also the polished rice was taste, tasting better than this. So these are the reasons for decline of uh, millets in India after the Then uh, uh, in the 2000, there's a slogan, Kodo, Kutki, Hatao, Soyami, Lagao. This is a popular slogan. And also the Green Revolution has actually incentivized the high input farming to feed the alarming population that time. So that is why millets got shifted. So these are all uh, the reasons for declining area of millets after 
between the efficient period. But if we compare the per capita monthly consumption of millet uh, in sorghum and finger millet, so the urban population is quite good. In case of parma millet, whereas uh, the rural population, the per capita monthly consumption is high. And even in the small millet also, the per capita consumption among urban uh, folks is high because they are having great health conscious in urban uh, consumer, for example, for uh, lifestyle diseases. So that is why the consumption of small millets is you know, high uh, among the urban. So uh, most of you uh, must have seen the uh, you know, millets. This only for uh, uh, you. I'm uh, showing the pictures, the sorghum. So actually millet mission, the aim was you know, uh, more on nutrition, not on calories. So hope you must have seen this crop early millet, then finger millet. So barn and millet, it is usually we see in uh, Uttar Kandi area or uh, northeastern parts and even in some patches of uh, Tamil Nadu. And proso millet. So proso millet is also you know, a crop having good nutritional qualities. Foxtail millet. Why it is called foxtail? Because it resembles So, then little millet, little millet and proso millet look similar. Almost even this kodo millet is a very hardy crop, hardiest crop. Usually in Karnataka, southern part of Karnataka, and use distinct thing go this kodo millet. It's a very hardy crop, and comparatively, it is longer duration when compared to other small millets. I'm proud of millet. This is uh, recently being added uh, as a mandate crop in our drug, Eclipse scheme. So, brown top millets are having a very good fodder. It's a very good fodder and also short duration uh, crop. Around 70 to 85 days, we can get very good uh, uh, crop. And also, it is having higher uh, consumer acceptability also. And nutritionally, if we compare uh, these millets with rice and wheat, so the protein is almost comparable but it is having higher quality protein. Then carbohydrate is also comparable, but in dietary fiber, if we compare uh, dietary fiber with rice and wheat, so these millets have good dietary fiber content. Then mineral matter is also very high. Calcium, particularly calcium, you see finger millet, 344 against 0.6 in wheat and 41 in, I mean, uh, 0.6 in rice and 0.4, uh, yeah. So, uh, the, the, these are having very good uh, uh, dietary fiber, mineral matter, calcium, phosphorus, and also iron. So, this nutritional composition, if we compare, the millets are, you know, super good. You can say they are super good.
So these millets are rich in the nitrous fibers, calcium, and other mineral vitamins. Next level. So the richest source of calcium, uh, especially uh, you know, the millet, the protein content actually in millet is like from seven to twelve percent. And fat varies from 1.3 to 4.7 percent. And the millet protein, though, is comparable to rice and wheat, but these are two sources of vitamin C and lysine. Not that we know the importance of these uh, you know, amino acids. So these essential amino acids are having very significance. Uh, who actually people who depend on vegetarian foods. So this is important thing and realizing that the nutritional composition of these millets now they are being called as nutritious. Uh, and also they are environment friendly since uh, the pests and the uh, incidence of the pests and diseases are also less when compared to rice, wheat, and other crops. So that is why we we usually hardly use any chemicals, pesticides or you know insecticides or you know we hardly use. So that is why they are um, in environment friendly nature. So then health benefits. So by consuming these millets, what are the benefits on our health? Celiac disease. Celiac disease means you might be knowing. So millets are actually gluten free. Gluten free grains means only millets. So some people are having celiac disease, they are allergic for gluten. So for such people, millets are the optional foods. So then anti-diabetic properties. So millets, actually millet, by consuming millets, we can definitely lower the, the blood glucose level so because they are having low glycemic index. So that is why people who are having you know, uh, the type 2 diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes, and doctor also prescribe these millets. Then reduction in oxygen, stress management. So actually, free radicals actually uh, they are actually removed by the phenolic compounds present in this millet. That is why if we consume this millet, definitely we can reduce our stress level. The anti-cancer properties. There are studies they have which have claimed that millet extracts have anti-prolific effects on cancer cell line. So that is why this is also a very important advantage. The anti hyper uh, hypertensive. So millets prevents the acidation of low density lipoproteins that thereby it reduces the lipase activity which reduces the occurrence of hypertension. So that this is also a very important health benefit. Then obesity. Obesity is actually uh, data before say around 30 percent of the people are having obesity. So for such people the intake of these millets is very good since these are having high dietary fiber the hunger satisfaction, like, like if we consume millets during morning, we don't feel uh, emptiness in our stomach. It keeps our uh, activity. So that is why uh, obesity uh, we can overcome. Then coronary heart disease, regular consumption of this whole millet grain, it reduces the risk of you know, uh, the uh, CHD, the coronary heart disease, that are imposed by 20% we can reduce. Then, uh, it is having the benef beneficial in treating the stomach person. These are all based on the research habits. So by consuming these millets, we can you know, return stomach to alkaline and prevents the formation of stomach ulcer. So that is why by consuming this, we can definitely reduce the effect of ulcers. Then for anemia control, yes, I already told uh, finger millet is a very good source of calcium. Calcium and also iron, specifically iron. So by consuming this finger millet, it helps in you know uh, the overcoming the uh, anemia. So it also helps in keeping the molecular degenerative disease and liver disorders and asthma. Right? So these are all the important health benefits and also allergic uh, reaction. There are you know reports says pearl millet, which is having high uh, you know, uh, health benefits in uh, preventing allergic. Uh, reactions because it's having uh, low probability of causing allergy reactions. So these are all the health benefits. Uh, so you can see, uh, you, know, in, uh, you, know, you can also Google this information. Billets are good 
Three unity glycine. So this is so this is, we can definitely recommend people who are having gluten allergy. So these are all again added the health benefits of these millets in the sorghum, the branches, and then polyimmunate. So polyimmunate also you can easily you know help in maintaining blood sugar level. Then uh, the uh, they also have lower uh, glycemic index due to high fiber content and also alpha amylase <coughs> and inhibition properties. Then small millets they are actually proven anti fiber drug glycemic activity. Then uh, mode of action is also uh, might be low. So these are all the important health benefits one has to know. Then uh, the millet reduces already to obesity. Then millet process anti tuberogenic property. There is also mentioned that millet phenolic it is having effective in prevention of cancer initiation and uh, progression in in vitro as uh, the all the cell proliferation in the range of 28 to 100. This by consuming this millet definitely we can manage this. Health disease. Then millet reduce hypertension as already told. So these are the important uh, the health benefits and the nutritional, especially nutritional values. You see, most of the uh, uh, south uh, district people consume uh, finger millet. Finger millet is abundant in calcium, iron, magnesium as already told. They are also the well versed with amino acid, methionine, and so they could be consumed. And so these are all uh, important things. Then. Uh, it is having more dietary fiber and minerals than it compares with rice, meat, maize, and wheat. So, I think during drought, the finger millet was served as buffer against malnutrition, especially in the areas where small and marginal farmers reside. So, uh, with this, uh, now actually during 1978 to 79, ICA Indian Council of Agriculture Research actually established six. Specific lead centers for the you know, development of these small millets. So they identified Bangalore for Ragi, they identified Dori in Bihar for Koso millet, Madhindori in Madhya Pradesh for Kodo, Andhra Pradesh, Nandya, it is considered for pastel millet, Orissa, uh, Semile Guda. The centers were established at these particular centers for the research of these millets. In Uttar Pradesh, Almora. So that was in a designated center for uh, bonnet millet. So you know, well, now, actually at present, we have more than 14 centers and 22 the coordinating centers you know, that are doing research on these small millets. So we are concentrating on millet breeding and the development of varieties, agronomy, the management factors, plant, plant protection, like pest and disease. So we are conducting research on these issues on all millets under different agroclimatic conditions. So with the management factors, with the good management of agronomy, so we can definitely expect around 35 quintals of grain and 60 to 70 quintal of fodder in finger millet and 25 quintal and 30 uh, quintal of the grain and 40 quintal of straw in pastel millet and poso millet also we can have uh, around 20 quintal of uh, grain. Kodo also, Kodo is actually a very good crop when found after finger millet because even the productivity if you compare with other millets, Kodo is also hardy crop. The only thing is very a few farmers are growing this crop. Then Bardad millet actually comes up well in the high altitude areas and even little millet and Bardad millet they respond for more water. Though they are you know, having less water requirement, if you give more water and nutrient, definitely they respond more and their productivity level definitely we can enhance. Whereas ground top millet, ground top millet is also a very good crop and a very good fodder. And uh, we can also you know, expect around 20 quintal of grain and 25 quintal of straw. So the among all uh, small millets, finger millet uh, and water millet and uh, brown top millet, they are both you know, they are, uh, very good, uh, having very good grain as well as straw. And at different uh, the stations, uh, the yeah, based on geographical situations, we have developed different varieties of uh, different millets for different states. I mean, different agroecological situations, we have developed different, different varieties. Because uh, the one variety can, cannot come uh, uh, good in all the agroecological situations. So based on the climate factor, based on the soil, uh, so uh, there are different varieties and also there are varieties which are having resistance for 
pest and disease. Which is uh, now in the uh, finger millet, some of all the states have good number of varieties because it is growing in a larger area. So we can see the list of varieties. Pastel millet in Canada we call Namane. Hope all know Namane. Huh? Okay. So even the uh, pastel millet also, there are uh, pretty good uh, research and different states having good uh, now varieties. These varieties are having a low duration and also having more resistance to draw at the same time. I feel. Then little millet. Little millet is a is also a very important crop. Uh, so we are having uh, the good area under the, this crop in uh, uh, in Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, even in Karnataka also you can see. So even any state growing state has good number of varieties and again these varieties are having again in the classification of uh, short duration and long duration uh, the disease resistance pest resistance but only the pest shoot fly is the major uh, no, pest we can see so for that also we have different varieties available in uh, the little millet and prosomillet prosomillet is a shortest uh, duration crop among all millets so there also we have good number of varieties and from our university also we have a uh, you know, good varieties in almost all millets. And Kodo millet, Kodo millet Tamil Nadu is actively engaged in the development of this uh, uh, varieties for this particular crop and now uh, even in uh, uh, Karnataka also. So uh, millet, Barnard millet major research is going on uh, uh, in this crop uh, from uh, Uttarakhand. So there are very good number of varieties and also here Darwin also has released good number of varieties and these varieties are having short duration, higher uh, drought resistance and also higher yield. So, so uh, this new procedure definitely if we 